Okay, so I'm using my thermal infrared camera to do some examination of my solar panels, my flexible solar panels, and these have been out in the sun for quite a while, and one useful application of thermal infrared cameras are that they can be used to um, look for defects in the uh, temperature distribution across the solar panels. So these are polycrystalline uh, silicon solar panels, quite cheap ones, relatively cheap uh, from China, and they're old. And you can see here quite clearly, uh, I have the hot and cold spots on, that there is perhaps a slight defect in the solar cell array uh, in the top left corner here because it's getting very hot. Uh, the air temperature is about 25 Celsius today, but you can see out in the sun the black solar panels of course will get a lot of heat uh, absorbed from the, uh, the uh, sunlight directly hitting them. And of course they're black bodies so they'll absorb heat more efficiently. Infrared radiation will be absorbed more efficiently but also will be released more efficiently uh, by the law of black body radiation. So you can use this as a way in which you can look for defects because the hotter the solar panel gets the more likely it is that the conversion efficiency of the semiconductor material, the silicon, that it's made from will diminish in uh, light gathering power. It won't be able to form a um, band gap basically and it won't be able to convert the light into usable electricity. Uh, the heat is uh, in this in the uh, solar panels designed for converting uh, uh, photons into electricity. Uh, heat is of course uh, and it is a nuisance. Uh, the solar panels used for heating um, of course need to use this effect so they're painted black for that reason and I'm using them to charge some batteries and these are charging and you can see they're actually getting kind of hot yeah, a bit hot to the touch so we can shade them uh, like this and they should cool down and I have my other solar panel here you can actually see my reflection from it so you can see my reflection they are very good at actually these have a special coating on them that's able to reflect uh, thermal infrared and uh, now this has a, a disadvantage in making it very hard to determine whether or not we have any defects uh, because of the coating but it seems on examination they're pretty much uh, homogeneous in their temperature distribution which indicates to me that there's no damage to this solar panel and that kind of makes sense because this solar panel is actually a higher quality one and um, it's uh, monocrystalline so it looks more monolithic in its design and uh, therefore less likely to break and the enclosure in which it's held in even though it's a kind of a suitcase flexible enclosure it's much more durable it's made of a much more higher quality plastic uh, this is just a kind of a, a kind of a gimmicky one you can even see you can even feel there actually it's very hot to the touch so it is definitely a problem with its um, uh, efficiency and it's uh, absorbing way too much um, thermal thermal energy and yeah see there my hand is it's very hot to the touch my hand even the coolness of my hand is visible on the uh, on the surface of it 